Good afternoon. It's a privilege to be here with all of you today. I want to thank the National Whistleblower Center for hosting us and for their nonpartisan, decades long commitment to protecting whistleblowers. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, I am here, in fact, as the president's nominee to the Office of Special Counsel. And I think everybody here probably knows more about the Office of Special Counsel than I do. Um, although I'm learning, and um, I have learned that it's a small but fierce independent agency with a very large mission. OSC promotes government accountability, efficiency, and transparency by providing a safe channel for employees to report waste, fraud, abuse, or threats to the public health or safety. Although my nomination has been favorably reported out of the committee, I still await the full vote of the Senate, so my remarks today are my own as a private citizen. So a little bit about me, since this is kind of my first introduction to many of you. I've been a government lawyer and counsel for nearly my whole life, which is, uh, or professional life, which is about 25 years now. I was a prosecutor in Los Angeles County. I tried a case right next to the OJ case. That's probably my claim to fame. Um, I won my case, by the way, um, but anyway. Um, I, I was in the city of Compton, California for most of the time, so I've seen, I worked with a lot of uh, whistleblowers and also crime victims and witnesses. And in the criminal context, a lot of times crime victims you know, are described as snitches. And they're also described as snitches dig ditches and get stitches and all that. So I've had a long history of working with crime victims and, and, and people in that context even before I got to the Hill. And so when I transitioned to the Hill in mid-career, I worked for the Oversight Committee. I also worked on the Senate side for Senator McCain. God bless him. Um, and I also um, worked with, a lot with whistleblowers. I started on the Fast and Furious case where whistleblowers came forward to Senator Grassley. And he got involved with us on the House side. And on a bicameral basis, we investigated that case. And we worked very closely with these whistleblowers to ensure two things. One, and this is very important as an ex-prosecutor to me, accountability for the wrongdoer. You gotta get people who harm whistleblowers or harm people, you gotta hold them accountable. If you don't do that, then what incentive do you set for these people to ever stop? None. And if you don't hold them accountable, then everybody else in the government learns that there's no reason to stop for them either. I compare it to a theft. You go into a store and you steal something, and if the only penalty is you have to give it back, then why would you ever stop? The times you get away with it, you keep it. The times you don't, you just return it. So that's the first thing we learned. The ATF leadership was held accountable, and they were all gone after the investigation entirely. And the second thing you got to do is you got to protect whistleblowers. You got to make sure that they're not punished. And on the Fast and Furious case, for the most part, most of them are still with the agency. They're still serving our country. Some of them are now in leadership positions. And so those are good outcomes. Uh, in, in terms of getting justice for whistleblowers from, from, from the side that I was working on, which was on the Hill. Um, I've learned a lot about whistleblowers, and obviously meeting several of you today here has been a real privilege and an honor. I consider this as a sort of a new nominee, kind of a listening tour. I had a, the privilege to learn from some of these stakeholders. I met with Gap and, and Pogo, and Steve Cohn as well, and, and, and just meeting all those folks, you learn about what are their priorities, what are, especially for the Office of Special Counsel. Um, I want to sp specifically thank Carolyn Lerner as well. She's been very generous with her time. I understand she's made great progress with the office, also with Adam Miles, who's the acting special counsel. I got the new principal uh, deputy special counsel, Tristan Levitt here, who's already been hired. It's gonna be a tremendous asset. Any of you who've worked with him or know him, know about his expertise. And so as I'm lis as listening to the stakeholders and as I'm meeting whistleblowers like yourselves, I'm just learning about what animates you, what makes you go forward, what, what are the priorities, and what do you want OSC to do? And as I'm learning about that, I feel very confident that I'll be able to bring a lot of that to bear in that position once the Senate um, confirms me, hopefully. So to wrap up, I know time is short, I wanted to just say, that I, I think events like this are, are incredibly important. They're important for you to know that your work is appreciated, that you're recognized, that what you do is patriotic. I think uh, you were talking about courageous, and I want to steal your word, but it, is, it takes courage, and it's wonderful to see people come forward to do the right thing. 
One of the things I've always been most proud of is as a prosecutor and as an investigator, and ho hopefully now if I'm able to lead the Office of Special Counsel, we get to do the right thing all the time all the time, not sometimes, not when it's convenient, not when it's ethically sort of morally murky. No, 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 we do the right thing all the time. And we protect people, we protect the workforce, we protect the merit system, and most importantly, we protect you. And that's why I commit to you today. If I'm in the Office of Special Counsel, there won't be a day that goes by that I don't remember the mission, which is to protect you, to protect the federal workforce, and to make sure that you're not retaliating against, so that we're going to be side by side with you all the way. Thank you.